Hi, this is a tutorial to use Otter AI, a transcription app. This is the what the home screen looks like on the web browser. So if you look in this button over here, it says record. So just allow your microphone to have access. Once you've done that, it'll bring you to the notes section. So I'm just transcribing an audiobook piece right now, and this will transcribe it. So you can see here the words are coming up on the screen. And then it has a timestamp as well of when it's been said. So this is just a small transcription piece. And then when you're finished, you can pause it, especially if you wanted to take a note down or I'm looking here, highlight anything that's important. You can do actions and you can add a photo. So here's an example of adding a photo. This could be something like a, a diagram or uh, a piece of artwork if you're doing art history or something relevant to the notes so this is just an example of adding a photo and so you can see the photo down here and then on this section you can type to add notes so if something's really important you can put down important so you can be able to look back and see what you should definitely take note of you can change the name of the notes uh, to suit what it is, so it could be a certain class, a certain date, a certain lecturer. So I just put that down as an assignment. And now this is how you can go back and edit your notes. So you can also see here there's a calendar and then my conversations. So these are previously recorded. So here's just an example of a class note. So I have the title and the date there. I already have some uh, notes highlighted, some keywords, so these are words that come up most often, and then how much the speaker has spoken, so there's different percentages. So this is just an example of being played there, and that's been highlighted. And then there's, you can assign a, a task for your speaker, and then you can see that there is no uh, speaker assigned to this, but you can also uh, fast forward or go back on the same thing with highlighting here so these that sentence is highlighted so you can see there's no speaker assigned there so I can just assign a speaker so it's on myself Gordon McGrath so that means that when you download it it will have the speaker's name attached to it so you know who's speaking so you can pause that and then if you, if you pause that you can then see there's shared with me so you can share notes within Otter. If you click more you can see apps. So there's different apps that work with Otter. So Zoom is one of them. For transcription there's Dropbox, Google Calendar, Microsoft. So this could have all your dates of any meetings you might have. So I have different folders here. So there's an example of a marketing folder. So this is just an example of another section of notes so this is if I want to edit text because it might not be 100% accurate but at least you have the option to go back and edit it so I'm just going to change this word to from baby play area to aeroplane just to show what it's like to edit so I just clicked on text I'm just changing that to aeroplane so it's as easy to do that and then you can pause it then there's there's you can have loads of folders there of different classes and if you press done then you can share it so as I said you can share it to somebody you can change it to anyone with the link can access it and then you can export it so if you want to have it in a text format PDF uh, download it any way that you want so I'm just downloading it as a PDF and I'll show you what that looks like so that has downloaded I'm going to click this open and we can see here on the Adobe Reader here's just an example of notes so it includes the summary keywords has the timestamps and all of the text 